other times when, when there have been similar circumstances in business. And I take you back to a time when one John Tilly was provided, presiding over the company meeting of a company that, uh, like, uh, by the way, uh, any of you want to invest in any small builders? I understand there are shares in person and homes and barracks available in very short <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so in that context, let me take you back to the early years of the Depression. And the company promoter, such was the name of the person who presented to the shareholders. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, that's you. Fellow shareholders of the United Smelter, Brass Bottling, Tin Whistle and Zinc Ointment Company. I trust I can call you friends. Yes. Well, I hardly say I'm happy to meet you tonight and um, to be proceeding with the proceedings of your meeting as president of the meeting and I think I can proceed as proceedings have proceeded in preceding years. Um, yes. Uh, it doesn't really match, matter what you think really, does it, uh, Mr. Harris? No. No, because uh, we're quite an order to take it as red, aren't we? Red? Take it as red? red absolutely. Yes. Or yellow or blue or green. And take it how you like, really. A doctor's been doing that for some years so far. Um, no, it's a general, general meeting. Uh, we've had the usual budget of anonymous letters. Uh, and um, to the directors, and if you could take uh, this uh, as the only intimation of reply, uh, we should be most grateful. Um, now let me see, Lord Brightwater, writing from Brightwater Towers, in reply to ex-service man, he says, oh, he denies all the allegations that he, Lord Brightwater, is not in the least bit windy, whatever that means. Anyway, he said, the term second division is purely um, military one, and in any case, scrubs and not shrubs. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, I'm sure you'll all be sorry to hear that Lady Bargain was unable to meet us uh, tonight. Um, as you know, she was a shareholder in one of our earlier companies and lost most of her fortune with us. But, uh, um, <coughs> but she's unable to, uh, unable to be here. Some little thoughtlessness in one of the London stores. Living up, living up to the Bargain family motto of help yourself. <laughs> And now, with regard to the annual report, let's have a look. Now, uh, there were four copies sent out altogether. Um, yes, we're rather sort of stationary, I believe. Uh, two were sent out without envelopes and two without stamps. <laughs> so, anybody who's actually got the company report, if you could share it amongst you, that would be most helpful. Uh, yes. Um, oh, now, let's have a look. Um, Ah, we may consider ourselves fortunate that the report was very much louder this year than last year. Um, the main feature, of course, is the debenture issue. Yes, the debenture issue of last week secured on the office furniture. Yes. Uh, and last year we secured the same on the office gas meter. But as you know, the mortgagees, the gas lighting coke company, have, uh, have uh, <coughs> threatened to uh, cut us off. But. Uh, we will be saving a lot of money by running the office without gas and by similar arrangements that are forthcoming from the uh, Electric Light Company and the New River Water Company, we'll be making further economies later in the year. <laughs> in spite of these setbacks, I, I must say we must sit, offset the setbacks with, with the, you know, well, your directors have decided um, to move the entire office into the passage outside. And, uh, uh, however, that has not yet been confirmed. But we can congratulate ourselves on the fact that there has been um, some movement in the sale of zinc ointment by our ever whispered branch. Uh, when I say sale, the, uh, the case of zinc ointment was sent out on sale and return and has been returned to us, but I must say it is a very real crusade in zinc ointment. And uh, you'll be pleased to hear that. Um, now, uh, last February, uh, I must say, a number of forged share certificates were issued in the company. Um, now, I'd be pleased if uh, anybody receiving the forged share certificates could take them back to the issuing office on uh, April the uh, 14th, uh, between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, when they will be exchanged with a genuine article. <laughs> Not that it will make the slightest difference to the value. <laughs> Now, let me see. Anything else in the report here? Ah, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh. oh, now, yeah, as we see, it only remains for me to read our auditor's report. As you know, our auditors this year are, once again, lip hook, lip hook, dog's body and lip hook. And they're automatically up for re-election this year. 
Um, they are most, uh, without a doubt, one of the most reliable firms in the city, and we should re-elect them. Could we have a show of hands on that? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, apparently, according to them, the balance sheets here, the balance sheets, yes, the balance sheets are correct with every ex uh, fact except for the figures. <laughs> um, <coughs> Yes. Um, do we have a copy of the profit and loss account? Um, no, Mr. Harris? No, okay. Well, it's a very one-sided document anyway. <laughs> um, and uh, apparently, according to, uh, according to the auditors, business, if any, is on the incline. <laughs> so, I promise you that, that next year we will have a, a far better year. Could be worse, could you bring um, so I remind you that the man who built his house upon the sand, the man who built his house upon the rocks, because this firm is not only built on a rock, but deeply embedded in the rocks. <laughs> and everything about this firm is of good report, sound and secure. <laughs>